Troopers, Gamers, and Movie Girls, what's going on guys? I'm the Messiah, this is Messiah Entertainment, and today we're checking out the first official trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming. Spidey's back in the Marvel MCU, this is his first solo film here. Let's check this thing out. This is my chance to prove myself. They, they stay doing that before the trailer. You got an Iron Man. <laughs> What's up, guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. Oh, okay. Oh, that was awesome. Is the list in your top? No, we've seen that before. Never with that skirt. Probably stop staring before it gets creepy, though. Yeah. Too late. You guys are losers. <laughs> I heard it was supposed to have that John Hughes just movie sort of vibe. Miles or any of you? Just don't do anything I would do, and definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Oh, all right. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the toy. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I know school sucks. Peter, you still with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you want to save the world. That is so true, though. Imagine being... You're not ready yet. <laughs> You're the Spider-Man. No, I'm not. I'm not. This is just a costume. This is from the ceiling. <laughs> stay close to the ground. And stay out of trouble. Ooh. Forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. I'm sick of him treating me like a kid all the time. But you are a kid. This is my chance to prove myself. Peter, what is going on with you? I'm really sorry. I'm so busy. I'm slammed. Don't mess with me. Because I will kill you and everybody you love. Damn, this looks good. Flying with Iron Man. Okay, bro, that was a dope freaking trailer. It had every element that I think I was looking for in this new Spider-Man movie, and the, what we heard about this being sort of like, you know, this teenage movie, you know, where he's dealing with high school. We've seen that time and time again, but it looks like they're getting a lot deeper into it this time. They're dealing with the effects of him being Spider-Man, and then him having to go back to living that normal Peter Parker life as a teenager, as opposed to just going back to the Daily Bugle, or, you know, and all the other ones, he had just graduated high school. They didn't really showcase that as much and this one it seems like that's a lot more of a thing first thing I just got to say that vulture costume looks ten times better than I thought it was going to I saw the, the pictures and I was like I don't know how that's gonna really work on screen that looks amazing on screen that looks really dope and then Michael Keaton's delivering those it sounds really really freaking dope I don't know where uh, shocker or the tinkerer are in this trailer maybe they'll uh, do maybe the next trailer will focus on the shocker maybe the shockers just a side character maybe the vultures just going to be the one main villain I, I was wondering how that was gonna work out the high school aspect is going to be the, the more interesting aspect in this movie we've seen spider-man time and time again in both of those movies uh, he was either in the process of graduating high school or he was just about to graduate high school they didn't really touch upon that whole thing uh, about him going through the duality of that as a teenager, you know, he, he pretty much always crossed over into adulthood and then became Spider-Man, you know, it was pretty much that coming of age story uh, where he had to become a man, he had to become Spider-Man and wasn't just a little boy anymore. Uh, but this one, uh, it, it focuses more on the teenage years, almost in the way of like Ultimate uh, Spider-Man. and. We get to see how he deals with that, and I think that's the most interesting aspect because it's always it's so true. Like, how do you go back to school watching videos of you swinging around with the freaking Avengers of all people, and then you have to go back to just being the loser at school? Really? I like how he has a little friend in this one, and pretty much all the other Spider-Mans. He's always kind of been isolated by himself 
and that was good for those characters but I think that's gonna be a little interesting dynamic where he has someone a little someone on the side that he could confide in and you know who knows he's spider-man I think that's gonna be a bit more fun too I don't know who Zendaya is supposed to be uh, you know we heard the rumors that she was supposed to be Mary Jane they said that wasn't true so I don't know who her character is they don't even show her that much it's just like a five second thing if that is Mary Jane that could be a new interesting interpretation of the character where she's kind of a loner herself you know, she was definitely sitting on the side. She looks kind of tired, and she's not the popular kid, so that would be an interesting sort of interpretation. And I think he said is Liz wearing a new top in the beginning, so I'm guessing that's Liz Allen. So yeah, that could be something interesting. That could, I guess, span into further films where there's a bit of a conflict there. And it definitely works for a post-Avengers universe or a post-Civil War universe. Uh, you know, other superheroes like Doctor Strange, they're adults and they're in such different realms that they don't really have to answer to anybody else. But Peter. Parker is essentially a kid right here. Tony Stark is the one bringing him into this, uh, and it's, it's for, to a certain degree, I guess Tony Stark sort of feels responsible for him. Uh, so, you know, he's kind of mentoring him, he's telling him he's not ready yet, uh, you know, he's trying to, uh, you know, I guess keep him from the, the really dangerous stuff, you know, he's not sure if he can handle something like the Vulture yet. Uh, but, you know, I, I like that whole conflict where, you know, he wants to prove himself uh, to Tony Stark and he wants to join the Avengers but you know they're not quite accepting <laughs> applications right now so I wonder what role Donald Glover is playing he's in there for like a slight second on the left <laughs> You know, you, you just notice it. That trailer got me really excited. Uh, and right after the Guardians trailer too, I, I, I mean, just Marvel, I, if I had any doubts of a Marvel and Sony working together, I think this trailer quelled those thoughts. You know, maybe in the back of my mind, like a seed of doubt, but I am honestly super hyped for this movie after watching that one trailer. I think everything in was in there that I wanted to see and a little bit more in terms of like the visuals of Vulture and whatnot. So I can't wait to see more of the movie, uh, to see what the Shocker looks like in motion, because I saw that and I was like, hmm, that's, that's interesting, we'll see how that goes. I want to see what Shocker looks like in motion. I want to see what Zendaya's character actually is. I don't know if they're going to try to hold that out into the movie. Uh, and everything else, I think this is perfect. I think Spider-Man visually looked awesome. I like the dynamic between him and Iron Man so far. I like the dynamic of the high school uh, uh, setting. I, I just super cannot wait for this movie. But this is my opinion. I'm sure you guys got your own. Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you guys think of the official Spider-Man Homecoming trailer? Did you love it? Did you hate it? As always, guys. Can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, guys. Please check out my other channel, Directors JXM. We got cool skits and short films for you guys. I run the channel with boy Johnny Lee. He has his own channel over on JXB Entertainment. Be sure to check that out. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'm Messiah. This is Messiah Entertainment. See you guys next time. Peace.